Seattle police investigating a shooting tonight that left four people hospitalized, including a two-year-old that we just mentioned. Thank you for joining us. I'm Hannah Kim. This all happened in the Central District near the intersection of 23rd and Jackson Street. A witness tells Q13's Jennifer Lee violence like this isn't uncommon for the area. Police Chief Adrian Diaz stopped by knowing that a two-year-old child was involved and taken to the hospital in critical condition. A spokesperson with the police department tells me they're still trying to piece this investigation together, but what they know so far is that the shooter was on foot and fired the weapon several times into this parking lot. Every day I worry about my student safety, um, and I can't imagine being the parent of that child right now. Dustin Cole, a first grade public school teacher, was moving into Jackson Apartments when gunshots rang out across the street. We heard just pop up like at least like 12 or 20 gunshots. Police say the shooting injured three people and a two year old. Before any emergency personnel could arrive, the victims all either transported themselves or were transported in personal vehicles to the hospital. Seattle police taped off the entire parking lot that includes an auto zone and three more businesses and a portion of 23rd Avenue South where the suspect allegedly fired the gun from. The police chief also stopped by the crime scene. When a two year old is the victim of a shooting, um, it's it's a really tough thing even for, for officers even to respond to. Cole says he's lived in the Central District for three years and says this latest violent shooting is not uncommon for the area. What is the Seattle Police Department doing? What are they doing to protect our community in Seattle, to, to reach out to the community, to seek support? I have no idea. I have no idea what they're doing. And it keeps happening. And unless there's a change, Cole doesn't believe the violence in his neighborhood will get any better. You know, I pray for the for the you know the young child that was harmed today and, and those other people. But I want our community to be safe and and we need to do better. Investigators have spoken with a couple witnesses, but they're asking anyone in the public who may have information to come forward. They're asking you to contact them through their violent crime tip line, and we'll have that number for you on our website, Q13Fox.com. For now, in Seattle, Jennifer Lee, Q13 News.